this, I tell myself. About a quarter of a mile from the fence, I spot a large and deep gully, cutting down into the earth off to my left. How about there, I ask. Fine, Ryan says. I maneuver into the gully, trying not to scratch the car on the thick, dry brush that lines either side. I go as far down as I can before parking, so that guards or workers walking around this dusty wasteland can't see the car. From here, we'll proceed on foot. Any company? I ask, shutting off the engine. Don't think so, Ryan says. Let's roll. We get out and close the door softly behind us. Rattlesnakes and scorpions abound in this habitat, so we tiptoe around, alert to the slightest movement. We open the back hatch and pull out an aluminum ladder and some lengths of rope. Aside from the ladder, we're traveling light. You never know if we have to make a run for it. Okay, I say, pointing to a section of fence a bit to our left. Over there, that dark area. Looks like a light is out. It's our best bet. We walk, carrying the ladder between us. It's eerily quiet, save for a low hum coming from the buildings and the occasional soft clanging of the ladder. We're fifty miles from the nearest town, unarmed and uninvited. If anything happens to us, nobody will know. And something might happen. I've been arrested and had guns put to my head, and those were easy jobs compared to this one. I can't divulge what kind of facility this is or where in the world it is located. What I can say is that beyond this barbed wire fence, a powerful organization is keeping watch over something immensely valuable. This something is so valuable, in fact, that the organization has spent tens of millions of dollars designing this facility and outfitting it to be as we were told, absolutely impenetrable. One of the most secure facilities on the planet. Besides the barbed wire, dozens of highly trained guards, armed with automatic weapons, patrol the grounds, making rounds throughout the night. Other guards stand watch inside high turret towers. Powerful spotlights illuminate the fence at regular intervals, with hundreds of cameras monitoring movements on the ground and around the perimeter. An array of other costly and sophisticated equipment that I can't reveal is also in place, all with one objective. Keep people like Ryan and me out. We know about the security in such detail because we spent weeks preparing for this mission. Working from a remote location, we gathered reams of detailed information via phishing and vishing, which is phishing phone calls, attacks. In the course of seemingly innocuous conversation, people working behind the razor wire and at other facilities maintained by this organization revealed operational plans, scheduling details, even the names of employees and managers who worked here. Enough of them so that we can piece together large portions of the organization's management hierarchy. In recent days, we continued to amass information while poking around the facilities in person. We had learned that the organization was building a new facility near this one, and that they were holding a groundbreaking ceremony this week. Although no information about the new facility's location was available online, that didn't stop us. Noticing that a local journalist had written articles about the construction, we hatched a plan to pose as this journalist and his colleague from the same news site. To learn the location, we had Deborah, one of our female colleagues, call the facility's main office, posing as an assistant to the journalist. Hi, she said in a cheerful tone. This is Samantha over at WXTT, not the television station's real name. I'm Pete Robichaud's secretary. He's coming out to cover the ribbon ceremony on Saturday at 10.30. I just have a couple of follow-up questions. Hold on a sec, a man on the other end of the line said, probably checking that Pete, also not his real name, was on the guest list. Go ahead. Okay, so first off, what kind of ID does he need to bring? He'll need a government ID with a photo, right? Yep, driver's license is fine, as is a passport. Great. So next question, he's planning on bringing his own camera equipment. Is that okay? Anything he shouldn't bring? That's fine, the man said. We'll search him on the way in, though. Absolutely, our colleague said. So my last question is, I just want to verify. We seem to have lost his invitation, 
So I want to verify the facility's location.